Hello and welcome back to Switch and Lever. Today we're taking a look at how to get an old VU meter up and running again. A VU meter is essentially a volume indicator and thus exists in a lot of audio equipment. The VU meter in this video comes from an old cassette tape mixer salvaged from the trash. In this video you will learn about programming, soldering, and problem solving. But before that, let's look a bit closer at what a VU meter actually is. The meter itself shares many similarities with a regular DC motor. The needle is mounted on a copper coil between two magnetic poles, much in the same way a shaft in a DC motor is driven. Thusly, we can also drive it in much the same way as we would a motor. However, unlike a motor, the VU meter will return to its starting position when not being fed power. Therefore, if we constantly feed it power, the needle would simply max out and stay there, and that's not really what we want. To vary when and how much power we feed to it, we will use a microcontroller, in this case the Arduino. We will also hook up two potentiometers to change two values which control how the needle will react. Let's continue on to the circuit. For the circuit you'll need a breadboard and an Arduino. Start by hooking up the rails and the breadboard with power and ground. Now you're going to need the actual VU meter. To run it from the Arduino, you may have to reduce some of the current flowing from the Arduino pin, and the easiest way to do this is using a resistor. For this meter, an 18 kilo ohm resistor proves sufficient, but your mileage may vary, so do experiment. Since the VU meter is much like a motor, it can generate back current when it's returning to its zero position. To prevent that current from traveling back through the wires and potentially damaging your microcontroller, we need to add a Zener diode between the positive and negative leads on the VU meter. The Zener diode only allows current to flow one way, essentially acting like a one-way street, and will stop any current trying to travel back through the wire. Hook up the VU meter with the resistor to the Arduino, and the other lead to ground to complete the circuit. The two final things to add are the 10 kilo ohm potentiometers. One is connected to the analog pin 0, and the other to analog pin 1 and both are connected to power and ground. They will act to control the motion of the needle on the meter. Here you can see the circuit in a more schematic way. To hook everything up we need to solder wires to the leads on the back of the VU meter. There are four leads in the back, two of which are used for the built-in light, so make sure you're soldering to the correct ones. Remember to put in the 18K resistor on the lead which connects to the Arduino digital pin. It's then wrapped in shrink tubing to provide both a strain relief and to prevent short circuiting. Since we forgot to put in the Zener diode, the shrink tubing was removed off camera and the diode soldered in and shrink tubing replaced. Using a breadboard, hook everything up according to the schematic. Finally, connect the USB cable to your Arduino and get ready to do some programming. Let's briefly look through what the code does. To follow along, you can download the Arduino sketch through the link in the description. The sketch runs on the idea of writing a value to the pin which controls the VU meter for a certain amount of time, and then pausing for the same amount of time. This creates the jittering you can see in the needle, and will also give you an idea how long it takes for the needle to reach between the minimum and maximum values. We're reading the values from both potentiometers on the analog pins. Though, since the potentiometers return values between 0 and 1023, and the digital pins write values between 0 and 255, we need to fit the greater range to match into the smaller range. This is done with the map function in the Arduino code. To be able to control the delay between writing values, we map the other potentiometers to another range, which will serve as the milliseconds of delay. In this case, the maximum value is 200 milliseconds, or 0.2 seconds. You can experiment with this value for other effects. 
Finally, we write these values out to the Arduino digital pin 6. First the value of how high we want the needle to go, and for how long it will stay there. After that we write the value of 0 to free the needle, and then another delay to allow it time to return. The values you're sending to the VU meter are also fed back to the Arduino serial monitor, so you easily can see which values work for you. This can be useful as you may want to find values which works in your application. Upload the sketch to the Arduino and start twisting those knobs. If you also want the light for the VU meter to work, you will have to replace the built-in tube light as it requires more power than the Arduino can provide. Open up the front of the meter, pop out a little light and solder in an LED in its place. Next, hook up the leads in the back to a digital pin and ground on the Arduino and follow the LED example in the Arduino IDE for how to hook it up. That's it for this video, hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe for more videos from Switch and Lever.